Okay, everybody, it is 4.54 a.m. on this, the 22nd day of February 2021. There's a lot of twos. A lot of twos in that. What does it mean? Doesn't mean anything. I'm the group game dev. And this. Last print. Last print. And we've accomplished... what feels like next to nothing about this game. Let's take a look at what we have. We have a main menu. Start does nothing. About goes here and comes back. Options does nothing. And quit goes here. Goes here. And comes back. That's a main menu with some stuff. So we're gonna work on work on two things. We're going to add another item to this. And that's what we're going to add an item. What do we have out here? Ooh, look at all this stuff. Um, want this stuff. I don't want this ignored. Local items. In any case, I'm going to ignore these. I was looking at some art yesterday. Well, yes, this this I'll keep. What do we change? We change. Oh, we changed the name of something. All right, that's not that's fine. Okay. Renamed. Renamed. A constant. Great justice. We have renamed the constant. Close all of our tabs and make a do something. Start with it. Got layouts. Options. Option. Off. Here's a funny, funny thing, though. <laughs> New file called options. JSON. And put an empty thing there because that's how these all work. I'll put the background in because that's nice. Well, then maybe we'll put a uh, options. We'll say options. Probably can actually hit a T. T I O N S. Okay. That's cool there. So now we've got the content for it. All we need is more or less the about state handler. New item. Header file. So, in Fortune Hunter, I just barely made these do anything until about the end. Right. And so the problem for me at the end was uh, 
the, at the end, I got really quite tired of working on a bunch of little details of screens. It was not fun to work on after a while. <sighs> and so, this time my idea here is I at least get we need to do that sooner. Maybe not first. Or maybe not complete it first, but get a lot further along with this. Because last time I was just very neglectful of it. This is basically eating the vegetables. When when you get your plate of food, you got the vegetables that you don't want to eat, right? And these are these are these are they. Options, state handler. And we're going to party. Okay, here, called options. Say options, state handler. Options, state handler. It does more to it, but for the moment, if I just get it so that you go to the option screen and can exit from the option screen, then I've got it roughed in. And then I can move on to a bigger portion. Which is getting sounds in here. Because I need, because sounds, sounds are important. Try my best because my stupid back is hurting. And it's because I'm old, because I'm fat, because I don't exercise, because I don't eat right, and I've had a lifetime of poor posture. So I will fully own that I did this wrong, right? And what are you, what are you doing here? You're sitting on, sitting on your duff, sitting on your tuckus. Coding, coding, coding a game while streaming. What'd you think? What'd you think was gonna happen, huh? What'd you think? State layout manager and we're gonna need other managers in a little bit. And we'll put, we wire in the thing in the main menu state handler to say, whenever I say, go to the option screen, for example. That's how we do it. Options. Did some nothing. Oh, oh, oh. Options. State handler. This thing. Take, take, not this thing. Ah, state options. Now it should work. Options. Back. Out and back. Bit. Probably center this. Yeah, let's 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 dink around with that. Uh, confirm quit. Three twenty. Three twenty. Three twenty. Horizontal. Horizontal alignment. Zero. Uh, 
so that. So that we can have a nice looking quit. Oop. Ah. <clears throat> if you spell horizontal alignment correctly, without without an extra e, it works better. Chances are. Try that again. Hey, are you sure you want to quit? I guess. Alright. Lovely screen. But now, but now. And already Windows with its machine intelligence. Uh, remembering let's get a sound manager in here I believe that the Fortune Hunter Sound Manager is probably good enough. But there's also called Options Manager. <clears throat> called Options. Let's get this stuff in here. Away. Add uh, fil filter audio existing item maybe sound manager as O okay. down here add filter add an existing item. Menager. Then under do I? <laughs> under data. Under data. Put it under here. Let's add an exist. Let's add options. Page over here. Folder STM options dot CPG. Now I know my options dot CPP. I need some help here. There's stuff. I don't have to do anything about. Okay, so there's no game data. Step one, there's none of those things. Ain't got a game data. I want to also take a look. You're in the middle until I reload the project. Pretty much independent, so that's pretty good. So we're going to not have that thing. 
No, there is no such thing as game data. There's no game data. There's no difficulty level. So we're taking it down to the bare minimum, which is really just here are some sound options. And I think I want options manager. Because they manage them. All that stuff. Great. Name file. Now, truth be told, I could put these options into my other managers. Because the mute flag could be. Mute flag could be a flag from something, but this very specific loop. Very specifically, but it's because it saves it, and because the stuff from the int manager and the string manager is really just meant to be pulled in, read to it's it's a scratch pad, and when the game closes, it doesn't doesn't persist it in the slightest. That's why this needs to be its own thing. Managar, Managar. There's that. All right. Now in my application, I need Sound Manager. And yet another sound manager common options here. Ooh, it's just actually an options manager. Ooh, it's gotta be ooh, I've gotta fix my Got to fix my namespace because this one is an this one is namespace as burnt. Include. Why do I it's always going with the, going trying to do it include? Oh, rock on. Do need um, oh, what did I need from Fortunate? That was my that's well let's go let's get some audio assets at least. Take woohoo. Why not? Assets. Audio. We'll bring woohoo. But in order. X. These two things. Interesting. Oops. 
All right, let's take a look at Mux. This affects everything but Wolf. Okay. okay. Make it right to. Did I do the thing right where. I need SFX, older SFX. Who's got to be put in there? Now we're going to bring in the sound manager. Here's the finish. It does take a finish manager. And the options manager, which takes a um, I'll measure and go and an options config file file options config file options config file know that I'm also going to need the SFX and the MUX. SFX config file and near the MUX config file. MUX. And when we say start, sound Manager dot start. I think it's the SFX file. The MUX config file. I think it's in that order. And options. Options manager start. It is time. I'm gonna stretch out a little bit. Mm, stretch that way. Buddy. Step and stretch. Yeah. So we don't kill our backs completely. That way. Or at least not mine. It's not today. Yeah. Let's think about let's think about what we have to do. Yeah, oh, first we need to find our camera motion. Look out, camera motion. Hi. Hi there. Ah. So, what do we have to do? We got the options. Options manager in there. Got the sound manager in there. Load options from there is going to set it make the controls on the options screen you'll set those up so here's a here's a question I want to have 
a PDF file. That is help file. Right. And I kind of want to shift that with it. On to the bouncy ball chair. This is a non trivial thing. Ugh. Probably should be more trivial, but it isn't. Well, it is what it is, right? That's fun. There's a bunch of stuff to pick up later that's on the floor. Not really bad. It's not really that bad. Alright. Oof. Okay. Feeling a little better. Feeling better. Alright. Everybody feeling better? Okay. Good. Glad. Glad you're feeling better. Hi. Hi there. Hello. Yeah, because... Personal appearance has always been very, very important here on the Grumpy Game Dev channel. Oof, nope, can't reach it. Can't reach it right now. So let's go to our options manager. The options state handler needs the needs some other stuff. One of the things that it controls is the sound manager. Sound manager. And we're going to include the options manager. Oof. And it needs for both of these. Ooh, and one more thing. It's going to need a data store for strings, because it has to set some strings. Actually, no, it has to set them. It doesn't have to get them. So we need the string manager. Okay. <clears throat> T, G, G, D, common. Sound manager, sound manager. T, oh, this is, these are references. <clears throat> I mean, options manager, also a reference. That, and we need a, uh, that's a T, G, G, D. Common, string manager. String manager. Because one of the things Oh, and this is gonna need an on update. So bool on update is gonna do some things. So let's wire that in real quick. Update. What are we doing here? Our update. <clears throat> Turn true. I need <clears throat> some more things. Stick around, you should stick around, you should close everything that's not pinned. 
So these things have to add to them. So there's a layout manager, and there is a sound manager, there's an options manager, and there's a string manager. Hey, Fern Ted! Fern Ted! Fern Ted! What's up, Fern? Yeah, you'd be Fern. Front end. That is what your name is. Your name is front end. Yes, I can clever. Brings you to my grumpy little corner of Twitch today, front end. I am building a game called Aspirant, which it currently looks like a bunch of a uh, bunch of menu screens right now. But the last game, the game that I got done just last week, I did get so. So here's the Aspirant. Yep, there's As there's Aspirant. There's there's the source code for it. But I also got Fortune Hunter done this week. Fortune Hunter is released there on itch. Um, <clears throat> uh, be complete. Interested in source codes. There's the git for Fortune Hunter. Let's go and left. Case command right. Break. Break. So then, all right, we're going to, we need an option, what, so what do we call it, option, option item, what do we call it here? Call it an options item. Enum class options item. I don't say toggle mute SFX volume and UX volume and back until such time as we need other things and have in here. an options item menu item oh there's that we'll put that in here
good we will initialize you to any item options item option with an s to cross platform shell to PDF. Um, C plus plus shell to PDF. No, Their command line. No, no. How to to launch? Open file. How can open file with programs? No. Yeah, it is very Windows in particular. I don't want to do it for Windows. So cross platform. Okay, let's let's cross plat. Cross platform. <clears throat> I could. I can use shell execute for that for Windows. Is there a different way? Is there a way to uh, C plus 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 open browser? How do I open a URL from C plus plus? There, there's libcurl. Book shell command systems on it. Oh, actually, oh, system. Hmm. System and shell execute. Well, of the things, I suppose. So it's a thing to think about. <clears throat> Let's put them in the to do list. Um, open help file. Open help file from main menu. Master Agent Miyazaki. How are you today? Good to see you. We're making an option screen for setting the volume. It's great. Okay. Uh huh. So we're going to go look in our options screen. Let me grab the main, let me grab some of this main menu stuff, right? Start putting this junk on here. Uh, so options, color. Oh. <clears throat> That's the schedule. We're making we're making the option screen, and we're bringing in bringing in sound effects, and making it work with our new little UI editor system thing that we got going on. Mute. We need another key. Okay. Options, text, toggle, mute. Let's 
get that in there. Okay. So that's about right. Okay. And then here at 48. There, SFX volume. Nope, oh, we're at, yeah, 48. Okay, you're fine. And you're at 64. And you're the MUX volume, MUX volume. X volume. Hey Dodo, what's going on, man? Have you taken uh have you taken Ted's uh course on the part two yet? <sighs> okay, so which so are you uh, April 12th? You going to the April 12th course class? So that's the same. I bring in my whole crew again to that <clears throat> to that course. So you'll be with us yet again. <sighs> yeah, so Should be, I think it should be a good course. So that'll be fun. Uh, rings. Yeah, so he'll he'll have some good good content. And I'm not against ubiquitous language. I just notice that we wind up with a lot more bounding contexts than. Let me let me tell you let me tell you about least locks. And not least as in the smallest, or the, the lo most lowly, but instead least as in um, kind of like rent. Like I've, I've, got, I gotta go, I've got a lease until December at my apartment, right? So that's, um, so they called them leased box. And so that's just what everybody got used to calling them. And early on, early on, I was the the voice of, hey, fellas, don't call them least locks. Because when you call them least locks, eventually somebody's going to make some sort of assumption about what that is that's going to, and it's the wrong thing. Because really, a more accurate description is a financed lock. And they didn't, they didn't initially listen, of course, because, you know, you don't, people don't listen until like a month or two later. Like, hey, you know what? We ought to not call these lease locks. We should call them finance locks. And so, but it's, but it's that thing. So that's, as usual, you go, hey, guys, let's not call it this. But then by the time the entire culture is now used to referring to it referring to it as that that's uh that's what you get that's what happens and that happens no matter what no matter what level of experience because these are people with with uh 10 15 20 years of experience so it doesn't get any better is what i'm saying
that's just how and once and once that's there that's what people call it it doesn't matter all all the basically the point the, the thing of domain driven design is to make a conscious effort to give it a good name that is useful and usable initially to think about it you know this is what it should be called and this is what we should always call it but overcoming the natural human culture just doesn't but so at least in what we did uh, with within each system we have a bounding context right and I do what I can and actually there's other there's, there's another one where it within um, within the system that manages people and who can do what there's a concept that I named fellowship that externally for the, the mar in the marketing domain right Within the marketing domain, they're called a SAC. Because that doesn't make anybody giggle. A fellowship is if you have a customer. So a customer is a group of people and a group of, of locks, and you can have permission between the people and the locks. A fellowship, so let's say that's a real estate agency, one real estate agency that has, well, lockboxes that they hang on the front door. But real estate agencies have to cooperate with other real estate agencies. So here's another real estate agency, and they're both together in one fellowship. Fellowship is a descriptive name for what that is. But they call it but basically it's the hey no we're friends with them do I represent them they have database records They have database records, and uh, the 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 identity principle is really a an individual user, and a user has an affinity to has an affiliation with a customer, and so that and that's how that works. And it's mostly business rules. Oh, you're building a trading app. Okay. Like, like something that really trades stuff. I'd have to know a lot more detail about your what you're designing in order to be of of useful help. I see. Back to the customer directly to not build something he doesn't want to. But here's the thing. Here's here's the here's here's the tragic thing, right? Um. A customer, this is this is important. They don't teach you this. Uh, a customer cannot get from from nothing. A customer cannot tell you what they want. It's not possible. They don't know how. The only thing a customer can do is tell you how what's in front of them doesn't meet their needs. That's what a customer can tell you. All right, but so knowing this, knowing that the customer cannot tell you what he wants, and knowing that the customer can only tell you what's wrong with what you've put in front of them, you know that. You, that's, that's there, right? So right now we're talking about... Uh, Talk about building an app for a customer. So we're, we're attempting to do um, making 
making an app that a customer wants. And I will, t I, and I'm, my, my position is you can't, the customer cannot tell you what they want. They can only tell you what's wrong with what's in front of them. But so, with those two things in play, the app that you, that you put in front of them, what you want to do is very quickly, very quickly, very cheaply, put in front of them something that very vaguely meets the need. It's not a good idea to spend a lot of time on it. It's not a good not a good to spend a lot of don't spend time on it. Don't spend money on it. Turn that thing out, knowing it's going to be wrong. But it's from you, you take what they're trying, what they're telling you that it needs to do. Your quickest here's the thing. Here's the thing that here's one thing that will do it. <clears throat> Tell me what I need to make it what you want. And then they go, oh, okay, well, and, but you have to go with that. You, you, you don't go, here's a thing, fully formed, this is what will do your thing. Yeah, no, but you have to, yeah. But as long as, long as you got, you got to get that customer feedback. And that's the spirit of, the spirit of agile development. Which, because actually the whole, the whole agile philosophy is you're going to do it wrong. So, don't, don't front load what you're doing. If you front load what you're doing, a product owner and UX person, product manager, the guy who decides what, what the thing does, that's a product manager. Product manager, product owner, product manager. Uh, yeah. Guy who decides what the app does. And then he is the voice of the customer. Congratulations, you're the product manager. You decide what's in the thing, then you're the product manager. Good for you. And good morning, Graham. Or good evening, Graham. Or good time of day, Graham. You're also the project manager. You also own the schedule. You're also the architect. You decide how 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 much how complex the solution is going to be. We the RJ Yo, yeah. Oh, okay. We're gonna put that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> sure, why not? Uh, okay, so we'll put this into. Uh, Write it down. There you go. Put VR AR. All right. There you go. It's it's written. It's on the to do list. So it's, that's that's thing about to do lists. There you go. You sir have. No, oh, it is. It's oh, it's, out. it's there. It's there. It's on the things to do. All right, I got a bunch of things to put in here. I'm not gonna get this done before it's time to go and do snow removal and whatever, and that's okay. Well, no, see, the thing is, is that's really easy. <laughs> book, book, super simple. It snowed last night. Yeah, it snowed. Snowed about yeah, snowed about twelve hours ago, and it was it wasn't much. It was, but it's, it wasn't much. What was it? Snowfall twenty four oh six. Well, 
that's close enough. Blech, who's that? What's up, home for sale? What is this, Goofy? I have no idea what this means. It wasn't much. It was, but it was just really annoying. Like an like an like an inch, or call it two centimeters. All right, we need a couple more functions here. We're going to go next item. Void next item. Void previous item. Void increase item. Void decrease item. Yeah, two point five four. That's that is that number. <clears throat> there's there's that number. There's two point five four. There's four hundred and fifty four, and there's nine hundred and forty six. And those three numbers allow me to do all the conversions. Yeah. Although mostly, and, and then well, and then nine fifths or five ninths for the for the temperature one. But that one's got an offset, so that one's harder to do. Freedom units. Well, yeah, that. Yep, and just because something's easy, doesn't make it widely useful. Because base 10 is an absolutely awful uh, base to put things on. item actually there's a there were a couple of a couple of times where as an adult the fact that that is that right there is six inches is quite useful there's actually like a little there, I don't know. I haven't used. When I was in the Navy, you had, you had to make your bunk a particular way, and you have to have um, it's so so long. So I got learned, just learned that that. But I mean, and then sometimes when I'm when I'm doing a lot of woodworking or whatever, um, I'm able to just look at something and go, "That's a quarter of an inch." So it's all a matter of familiarity. Yeah, the fact that the fact that the things all work base, with your number base. Yeah. Oh yeah, I can. I can do that. Yep. <clears throat> Based on how far the way this is, I can go similar triangles. I can look how tall something is. Yep, 
all sorts of stuff like that. All right. So, match, not match. I have not used F sharp on stream in months. Uh, Right, buddy, you didn't use it. If you don't use something, if you don't use something, it doesn't matter. Okay, yep, you learned it. Some things will stick. Some things will just stick. But other things, unless they actually get used, what's useful is that you know. Although, if you want, we can go over it. Uh, what do we have for playing everything? Not my way for it. Just try it. Let's go. Okay. So here it is. One blank one. Fuck. No. Hey. Wow. Wow. Things are way too helpful. Okay. Here's your eyeball. Oh. Arm length, hand length. And then also how far away something is, and whatever. And we'll put the eyeball here. But whatever. So we have it. So if you know, if you know this one, you know this one, and you know this one, you can figure out this one. This is A. This is B, this is C, that's D, and you know that A over B equals B over D. So, if we say well, what is D, we just multiply that by C, and that's, and that's how you do that. Okay, so we're in the middle of a state of something. Well, it depends because you go, all right. I know you have to you have to be able to measure from here to here. Well, if you know how big this is, and you can measure, and you can figure out. Roughly how much that is. It's good for approximating, anyway. Typically, not not for people with uh, skeletal midgets, not midgets. Well, not not dwarf. Little people, not little people. I gotta get out of here. I gotta wake people up. I gotta shovel some snow. Let's get back to my my normal self. Who have we got? Who's that? Can I can I say that I don't understand music streams at all? Because everyone's they put them on here, and it's just always they're always going. I don't listen to them. And I, I'm just oop. There's crass. Tasha, did you know Geico could save you hundreds on car? So we're reading the craft. I really like this. This is a good commercial. I like. It. <laughs> so, uh. Yeah. Oh, see, I got a niece. I got a niece. Kind of looks like that girl. Um, and with just having exact reaction of like, I gotta go, I gotta go. It's all right, I'm out of here. No, well, I'm out of here in a minute. I'm out of here. You, you, you people, you people, been on my lawn long enough. You're gonna ruin my grass, well, really my snow. 
Get off my snow. I got piles, too. We'll see you on the other side. Thanks for hanging out. Get off my lawn. Two, how you doing? Good to see you. Welcome. Enjoy your shovel in the snow. We're supposed to get three to five more today. Starting at ten, and I'm not a fan. I'm already over it. I'm completely over it today. I've been over it for a week. 